So okay, guys, today what we're going to look at is morphing. So we've looked at um, simple animations where we get text floating in and floating out, get it dropping from the sky, increasing, decreasing. What we're going to look at is morphing now, how we can morph one text into something else. So first thing what we're going to do is create a new action script 3.0. Okay, at the moment um, we're going to change the stage size. So ideally the stage size I tend to use is 800 by 600. Yeah, make sure that's fully on the screen so adjust it if you have to sometimes um, you might see a screen that looks like that where it's covering the whole screen ideally you want to see the space you're working in so you might have to like adjust it so you say like 80 percent so that you can see the whole stage within the screen and anything on the outside like these gray areas over here okay it's better to see those gray areas because you know once you have text that's going off the screen um, you can see where it's going and you can place it in the correct area Okay, so I'm just going to adjust that. My one was fine at 100%, so I'm going to leave it at 100%. Okay, what we're going to do first now is rename this layout. Okay, it's always professional. It's good practice to name your layer and uh, layers. Okay, so I'm going to call this morphing. Now, what I'm going to do is morph text. So, firstly, I'm going to use my go on the left hand side here, use the text tool, and I'm going to write my text. So, I'm going to write write this okay I'm going to make that font as big as possible or change it or whatever size I want to change it to so I'm going to change it to 200 there okay make sure it fits on the screen so drag that down so that the whole text is there use the selection arrow so selection tool to move it about okay so if you're wherever you want to move that text move it so I'm going to place it in the center center as possible so that's my text there this okay as we know, what we've been doing in previous tutorial is the timing. The timing is what 10, 15, 10. So this, the word this, I want it to stay on the screen. I don't want to morph it straight away because then um, it won't give the person looking at the animation enough chance to read it. So what I want to do is just stay on the screen uh, for a few seconds. So I'll, what I'll do is 15. At frame 15, I'm going to press F6. Okay, F6 now. So now for the first 15, if you look at that, the first 15 frames, that text just stays there. Next, okay, I'm going to use go to frame 25, press F6 again. Okay, right click to insert keyframe, or the quickest way is to push F6 on your keyboard. Okay, once I pushed F6, okay, so I'm going to push F6. What I need to do is make sure F6 at frame 15 as well. Forgot that, forgot about that. So at frame 15, is F6 and then frame 25 F6 so you've got one two three black dots so far or three keyframes okay what you're going to do now is um, change that text so I want this to change into something else now so the word at the moment is this I'm going to double click it okay I'm going to change that word now to is okay so now that word is is there so now I've got the word is placed in the middle so if you look at it now you've got this at frame 15 it says this still but then at frame 25 it changes to is okay now obviously we want it to stay on the screen for 15 seconds sorry 15 frames so we're going to go to frame 40 press F, insert keyframe f6 and then we're going to go frame 20 and we're going to press f6 again sorry frame 50 and press f6 so that's another 10 frame now we're going to animate this so at frame 40 is is now at frame 50 it's going to change to the word Morphing. Okay, click on uh, right morphing there. Okay, if it doesn't fit on your screen, adjust the text size. So I'm just going to make this text size slightly smaller. Okay, so the word morphing fits on my screen. Okay, so now I've got the word morphing there. So at frame 50, I want this once again to stay on the screen. Sort of a person, so whoever's looking at it can see it. So for 15 frames, I'm going to press F6. <laughs> Okay, so if you run that now, it says this and is morphing at the moment. Okay, we haven't done our tweening yet, so that's why um, it doesn't look much at all other than just the words this is morphing. Okay, what we're going to do now, okay, this is morphing, so now we're going to go to frame 75. Just going to add another word to make it, um, drag it out a bit more. So we're going to write over here, so it's changed, this is mor okay, morphing. And then here we're going to have the word and we're going to change it to animation. 
Okay, so now well, this is moving animation. Now we'll finally go to frame 90 and press F6 again. So now we've got a frame. If we run that now, it's got this is morphing animation. Okay, so what we're going to do now is the morphing part. How do we get it to morph? Well, we go to frame 15. Okay, because this is where we're going to break the text up. So what uh, you want? You're going to break apart. There's two ways of doing this. Okay, you right click, click break apart. Now the words, or sorry, the letters T H I S have now split up once. Now you're going to do it again. Okay, sorry, you're not going to do it again. Going to okay, sorry, now they're going to break apart. We're going to do is compress con um, control and B. So now you've got this dotted effect. So control B, press control and letter B. So C T R O and press B, and this will make a dotted effect. So do the same on 25, control and B twice. Go to frame 40, control B, frame 50, control B once, it splits the text up, again, breaks it apart completely. Okay, frame 65, same again, and frame 75, same again. Okay, so now what you're gonna do, so now that you've done that, so if you make sure you check all of them, you don't do it in a lot, we're not gonna do it in the last one. Okay, we'll look at that a bit later on. Okay, we're gonna do it on the 75, 65, 50. 40, 25, and 15. Now what you're going to do is go on your 10 frames, so your selection of 10 frames, right click, and this time, instead of cl creating classic tween, we're going to create a shape tween. Okay, as you can see already, once you create that shape tween, it's already starting to morph. Right click on frame for, um, between 40 and 50, create shape tween. Once again, create shape tween. Okay, now if you run this, okay, as you can see, the word this is morphing animation, okay? It morphs. Now, what you notice is when it gets to animation, it flickers. So, if you want this animation to roll, keep going continuously, okay, it needs to be smooth. We've said this, um, but I've mentioned this a lot of time in our units where we want animation to be smooth. So, where it changes from morph um, animation to this, it's not smooth enough. Okay, to rectify this, what we're going to do, it's going to go back to frame 90, okay? We're going to add 10 keyframes again and so F6. Okay, this time we're going to change that word animation back into the word this. Okay, change it back to the size it was. So I think originally we had it a size um, 200. Okay, so we're going to change that back to size 200. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do once again the break apart. So frame 90, break apart. Frame 100, break apart. We're going to insert now that. Uh, so we're going to insert the shape between. And now if we run it, should be smooth. So this is morphing animation. As you can see, now that's smooth. So it can go continuously in that cycle and it will be smooth okay so that's simple basic uh, morphing techniques which we have done and it goes continuously in a loop without any flicker or any um, inconsistency so it's continuously and smooth okay so this is simple morphing what we're going to do in my next tutorial if you want to continue we're going to i'm going to show you how to make the breaking effect breaking glass where we split the words up it makes a breaking effect like just broken up okay so we're going to look at that in the next tutorial